Here is a quick preview for one of our Solarix Makoski cases. Now beginning the case. A concerned father is coming to pick up a prescription. Please proceed as you would in regular practice, and there's no drug-related problem. Hi, my name is Maggie. I'm the pharmacist on duty. How can I help you today? Hi, my name is John. I'm actually here to pick up a medication for my son. His name is Brandon Smith. I can certainly help you with that. Is it okay if I address you as John? No, yeah, that's okay. Perfect. Um, John, if it's okay with you, I'd like to ask you a few questions about Brandon just to make sure that this medication is appropriate for him. That's fine. In terms of side effects, he might experience a little bit of stomach upset or a little bit of diarrhea. Perfect. I'd like to follow up with you in about two to three days just to see how Brandon is doing. Is that okay? Yeah, that'd be great. Perfect. Thank you so much for choosing our pharmacy. Here is Brandon's medication and have a great day. Thank you. Now that the interactive case has been completed, we'll be going through an evaluation checklist, checking out the items that the pharmacist had demonstrated. Please purchase the package on solrx.ca to view the full video. The video you're about to watch will showcase a scenario of a patient's mother coming for an over-the-counter recommendation. The video will be followed by a quick review by a pharmacist discussing the main points to address when making an over-the-counter recommendation. Hello, my name is Robert. I'm the pharmacist on duty today. How can I help you? Hi, uh, I need something stronger than Tylenol for my son's fever. Okay, I can definitely help you out. Please take a seat in our private counseling area. Whatever we talk about will be confidential and private. So according to the package, when we're giving doses to a child, we want to actually go based off their weight rather than their age. So is it okay if uh, we follow up with you in about two days just to see how Lucas is doing with his fever? Yeah, that's fine. I appreciate it, actually. Perfect. Any questions for me so far? No, that's it. Thank you so much. So thank you for visiting the pharmacy, Maya, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you. When you watch this interaction, you'll note that the pharmacist introduced themselves acknowledged the agent's reason for visiting the pharmacy, and offered privacy. Please purchase the package on solrx.ca to view the full video. Hi, I'm Sahara, the pharmacist in Dutchie. What can I do for you today? I'm here to inquire on my mom's medication. I don't know if you guys dispense the right thing. Well, I can see that you're concerned. We'll definitely address that now. If you'd like, we can discuss this in our private counseling area. Everything we discuss here will be confidential. Sure. Okay, Mike, thank you so much for waiting. Uh, I'd like to apologize. It seems we have dispensed the wrong tablet. I am pretty concerned because I know the doctor said warfarin is a pretty serious medication and, you know, she should have been on that one milligram dose. Thank you. I'll let her know and I appreciate your help. Um, I just hope this doesn't happen again. We, we'll try our best to make sure that this never happens again. Thank you so much for uh, your understanding, Mike. Thank you. Have a Please purchase the package on solrx.ca to view the full video. The upcoming video will showcase a scenario uh, where a pharmacy intern is waiting in the manager's office to get some information about the opioid agonist management treatment with respect to methadone. Uh, the video will be followed by a quick review by the pharmacist discussing the main points that should be discussed in such management cases. Hi, thanks for coming for our scheduled meeting. Yes. Uh, you know me, I'm Safa, the pharmacy yeah. manager here. Uh, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you. How, how are, are you? you? Good, thank you. Just have a yeah. seat. This is just like you know, so we'll part of the council here. Uh, we can be confidential if it's required. Sure, okay. sure. Thank you so much for making the coffee table, Sata. So, for your first question, you asked about the role of pharmacy technician in Fidel Mendes program. Yeah. So, just basically, it's the data entry, yeah. uh, like inter process prescription, um, prepare individual patient doses. And then monitor return of empty bottles from take home doses, especially carry doses. Do the documentation in the logbook, maintain an administration record. Exactly. And patients and pharmacists, we record on the logbook. Yeah. Thank you so much and good luck for your licensing soon. Thank you so much. Thank you. So when you watch this interaction, you see how the pharmacist introduced herself. So they knew each other pretty well. So she said, you know me. Right? It's a kind of an acknowledgement of the fact that they were on working terms with each other. Please purchase the package on solrx.ca to view the full video. In the coming video, there is a scenario where a patient's mother is visiting the pharmacy for an over-the-counter recommendation. After the video, there is a quick review by the pharmacist discussing the main points that should be considered while dealing with over-the-counter medication-related cases. Hi. Hi, this is uh, Julia, the pharmacist on duty. How may I help you? Uh, I need uh, an uh, eardrops 
Do you carry them for ear infection? Yes, we carry a few ear drops. Uh, please advise, do you need it for yourself? No, for my son, Brandon. Oh, okay, okay, sure. Uh, how may I address you, please? My name is Sarah. Okay, Sarah, please be seated in our private counseling area. Okay, thank you. Uh, I will sure make sure to help you out with this. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a private counseling area, and whatever we discuss here is going to stay confidential, so please feel free to ask any questions if you have, Sarah. Thank you. Okay, and you told about your son, Brandon. What happens? He says here, buy OTC products from pharmacy police for an ear drops, not results in the after one week. Okay, mm -hmm. so uh, it's for police for an ear drops. Okay, right, let me tell you how to use it. You instill three to four drops. Okay, thank, thank you so you. much. We have hope for a speedy recovery for Brandon. And, thank uh, you so much. Have a nice day. Thank you, me too. Thanks for visiting the pharmacy. When you watch this interaction, you'll note how the pharmacist introduced herself, how she acknowledged the mother's uh, presenting concern, and she offered privacy. Please purchase the package on solrx.ca to view the full video. You are going to watch a scenario where the patient is coming to refill her prescription. There will be no references provided in this scenario. So let's witness how to deal with it. Thank you. Hi, and I just wanted to know, do I have a refill on my diabetes medication? Uh, I will check that for you. Please have a seat yeah. and make yourself comfortable. Thank you. Just to let you know, this is our private counseling area and everything will get confidential. Okay, thank you. Thank okay, you. Uh, I can see, uh, Sheila, that you have, uh, uh, that you have remaining refill on the form. Yeah. And I, I noticed uh, too that you came a few days early to get your medication. I appreciate that, Sheila. Okay, Sheila, thank you for wait patiently waiting. Uh, so I will be dispensing your refill of metformin. Thank you. And just to let you know that uh, our pharmacy has an auto refill program. If you uh, I just realized that you are eligible for an extra medication called statin therapy. In other words, just use for cholesterol medication. So thank you so much for visiting our pharmacy. And if you have any other questions or concerns, just feel free to call us. Okay. Sure. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Have a great day. Sure. So you. as you can see from watching this video, the candidate started by taking notes at the door. Please purchase the package on solrx.ca to view the full video. The upcoming video showcases a scenario where a pharmacy manager is interacting with a pharmacy technician who has discarded patient-related information in the regular bins rather than the shredding bins. The video will be followed by a quick review by a pharmacist discussing the main points that should be discussed in such management-related cases. Hi, Jennifer. How are you? Hi, Tanya. I'm good, thanks. Oh, please have a seat. Thank you. What are you doing today? I'm doing okay. You asked me to meet you to discuss something. Oh yeah, thank you so much for taking up the time at such a short notice. And just so you know, the way these meetings work, we will keep this confidential if necessary. I appreciate that. Oh, thank you so much. And uh, how's your first day at work? Are you aware of the PIPIDA Act? The PIPIDA Act? Yes, I guess. Isn't it about the patient confidentiality? Great, you know about it. So it's Patient Information Protection and Electronic Documentation Act. Are you aware of this? Okay, moving on. Uh, the fourth point is limiting collection. Uh, I'll see you after the lunch today okay, sure. for the pharmacy tour. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thank you so much. Thank, thank you so much. You have a good one. So the video that we just watched discusses a scenario, a management-related scenario, where the pharmacy manager is interacting with a pharmacy technician. The case is about a mistake that a pharmacy technician has made. So on the case here, you saw that the candidate made a note of the acronyms to make sure that she was organized during the case and to avoid missing any necessary steps that you needed to follow to deal with that particular case. Please purchase the package on solrx.ca to view the full video. The video will showcase a scenario where a doctor is coming to the pharmacist for a recommendation. The video will be followed by a quick review by the pharmacist discussing the main points while dealing with such cases. Hello, Dr. Brown. This is Ella, the pharmacist I'm with today. How can I help you? Hi, Anna. I need to know the treatment choices for my patients in Vitaico. Sure, I can help you with this. Um, just, uh, I need to ask you a few questions in order to uh, give you the appropriate recommendation. For sure. Okay. And uh, for Mike, I just need to uh, go quickly over his profile to make sure everything is updated. Doxycycline, erythromycin, or coxacillin. 
for seven days. I would appreciate that you consider me in this clinical decision. For sure. Thank okay. you so much. Thank you for visiting our pharmacy. Thank Have you. Me. So when you watch this interaction, you'll see that the pharmacist introduces herself first and then acknowledges the reason for the doctor's visit. Then the pharmacist is asking the doctor if she wants to make a documented order and a documentation for that here. And finally, the please purchase the package on solrx.ca to view the full video.